Back pain is the worst. I don't think a lot of people will ever realize the amount of dark, invisible misery that you can really go through when you're in an episode or a battle with lower back pain. Just two short years ago, after a yo-yoing weekly, monthly, yearly battle with episodes of lower back pain, I never thought I would get out. Some of the emotions I was feeling during this time were frustration with the system of the PTs, the chiropractors, the experts I would talk to and how no one could really ever get me better. A general feeling of hopelessness and a lack of faith in the future because if I was 18 to 22 feeling these symptoms, what's gonna happen to me when I'm 50, 60? It's only gonna get worse from there. People kept telling me, oh, if your back hurts now, just wait till you're older. Everything hurts more, everything gets worse. So I had that to look forward to, but the story got better. This is me today. These are some of the things I can do. Um, I've been in the gym. I've been doing sports like hockey, jujitsu, and Thai boxing, and the pain is rarely ever back. So now what I learned and what you can potentially take from my story. The first thing I learned when trying to treat my lower back was that most back pain relief strategies and techniques that are used today are absolute death sentences if you want to have an active, physical life. What I mean by that is most of the advice I was getting was stay off your back, limit your activity to just walking, um, do some light stretches or light exercises, but they were never catered toward the lifestyle I wanted to live of a kind of a higher impact athletic life. Like I wanted to compete in sports. I wanted to do crazy things. I wanted to, to live, like I love moving my body. I love doing active things. And the kind of the back pain treatments I was recommended were, were death sentences for the life I wanted to live. The second thing I learned that I refused to ignore was that the, the general information out there and most of the strategies are kind of catered to the 60 year old sedentary person. So when I'm going in there as a 19, 20, 21 year old to try to get treatment for my, my lower back pain, I was treated the same way that a, a 60 year old would. And I had a totally different body. I had totally different goals. I had a totally different foundation of, of muscle and my body was much better at healing. So when I heard things like, oh, just make sure to always use a back brace for the rest of your life or make sure to always get your walk in or else, well, it's your fault your back hurts. Like things like that just didn't sound right. And I, I kind of refused to believe them. and I. I kind of went on my own path after these four years. I was a kid in his early 20s. I got out of there. I went on my own path and this is what I did. I doubled and tripled down on the principle that if you fix the muscles, you can fix the pain. And the way to do this is through the three steps of massage, stretch, and strengthen in that order. Step one, massage. There are five big muscles that predictably contribute to pain when they get tight and weak and develop knots and trigger points and refer pain directly to the lower back. And these five muscles are quadratus lumborum, QL, psoas, iliacus, gluteus medius, and piriformis. So if you have lower back problems, you more likely than not have tension with at least one of these muscles. And for me, with as jacked up of a back I had, is I had problems with all five. And the tool I used to get rid of the tension with all of them was the one and only QL claw, which I designed specifically to be able to hammer these muscles. Step two is stretch. And believe it or not, despite what everyone says, being as stiff as a two by four is not good for your lower back. Stretch your glutes and your hip flexors and you will open up so much pressure, you'll be able to bend forward easier, you'll be able to walk better, you'll be able to run better. Everything will just lubricate and work better when your glutes, your hip flexors, and more muscles are flexible. If you need a program for that, I made one, Flexible Back 2.0, link in the description. And step three of fixing the muscles, fixing the pain is strengthening. And this is building your resilience, letting you be an athlete, letting you compete, letting you do whatever you want physically. You need to develop a base layer of strength and endurance in specific areas of the body if you wanna put your back through any stress. So if you wanna be an athlete again and you wanna move pain free and not worry about your back when you go to pick up your kids or pick up a shirt off the floor. Back of Steel 2.0 is the program I put together for this. Otherwise, I have plenty of videos on this channel for with exercises you can do for free. So getting out of this was not an overnight thing. It took me four years of basically rocky cutscenes, trial and error, learning things, trying things, talking to experts, talking to trigger point therapists or people that kind of do like off the beaten path type of therapy. But at the end of the four years, when I finally had my first glimpses of, of pain relief, it was it was triumph. It was the best. It was. I felt like I finally conquered something and that's why I started this whole journey to, to share what I learned with you guys. And, and the one thing I like to relay to people that, that I learned that like in terms of laying expectations for getting out of your pain is that this doesn't, doesn't happen overnight. It, it happens with a lot of momentum and consistency over a couple months. So if you've only been in back pain for a couple days, this might not apply to you because going on a one month journey for two days of pain just doesn't make any sense. But if you've been in the pain cave for years, like I was, a couple months probably sounds like nothing if that's daylight at the end of the tunnel. And for reference, the, the first step of massage took me a couple weeks to get over. The second step of stretching took me a couple months. And then the third 
step of strengthening took me another couple months. So we're looking at about two to six months, depending on if you're doing them all in conjecture with each other or if you're doing each step individually. And if you don't know what you're doing, it could take a lot longer. This is why I created programs and my massage tools for literally this problem. Check them out in the description because these are the most potent, effective, proven ways to get there. If I would have had these programs, getting out of this pain would have taken me so much less time. It took me basically five years to make these because for five years I was trying things and I was learning and I was talking to people and I was meeting with experts and, and basically just being a test subject on myself. And then finally, once I had something that worked, I put it into a program that's potent and concise and works. So that's what my programs in the description are. Check them out if you have problems with your back because that's the quickest ticket you'll have to getting out of pain. Your battle with back pain doesn't have to be a lifelong journey. It doesn't have to be something that you're watching YouTube videos for for the next five, 10 years. It can end at some point and it can end a lot sooner with the right guidance. Like one kind of dark thought I was having during my back pain is, what is another 40 years of this gonna look like? Like at the extreme version of my back pain, like if I can't figure this out after four years, who's to say I won't have it for another 40? So if you don't figure this out now, like what's the alternative? So. I mean, just imagine if you just went for it. Imagine if you just bet on yourself and just buried your head for a couple of weeks or a couple of months and finally solved this problem. And even if you have a setback like beyond that, you'll be equipped with the knowledge and you'll understand what's going on and you'll know how to fix it right away. Like you'll never be in the pain cave for more than a couple of days once you're equipped with all this stuff. And I can't do the work for you. Only you can actually get down there and do the massage stretch and strength work. I can't actually physically make you do it. I really recommend you do because the life on the other side is a lot better and I can just share what worked for me and the people that I work with. So predicting a couple FAQs here. I am 24 years old. My back pain episodes were 18 to 22. Beyond 22, I've only had a couple. And every time I've had a back episode since 22, it has never lasted more than a couple days because I know what to do right away because I'm equipped with the right knowledge. Uh, another FAQ, no, I'm not on steroids despite how huge and massive I am. I know I get that a lot. <laughs> I don't, I don't get that ever. And yes, I am training consistently, so I, I had a fairly decent base of strength before starting this, um, but I did lose it when I was 18 to 22 because I couldn't train because training hurt, so I didn't train. While you're getting over your back pain here, it's best to create a lifestyle that you can do consistently. Even if it's just a couple months that you can stick to it, the best program and the best progress you're gonna make is the one you actually stick to. Uh, the perfect program that you don't stick to isn't gonna help, so try to make it work around your schedule, around your life. My programs are, are very low, energy. Um, you just read them once and they're about 15 minutes of work every couple days. That's going to be the most potent way to get you to your massage, stretch, and strengthening goals. And then beyond that, you'll be equipped with the knowledge to maintain whatever life throws at you beyond that. If you want to get started on massage, step one here, check out this video next.